We're going to start with sole and meniere, that famous dish where the sole is sautéed in butter. It's just lovely. Yes. And this is the real sole. Yeah, this is what they call the Dover sole. Dover sole, In yeah. France, we call that sole anglaise, you know, English uh -huh. sole. It's a lovely fish, and you can skin it, as Jack will show you. Then let's describe this. What do we have here? Yes, we have, look at that <coughs> white, beautiful white flesh here. Those are the gray sole. Grey sole, the lemon sole is even larger. And as you can see here, enormous row. I mean, those row here, usually people throw it out. My wife adores this. I mean, when oh, we have delicious. that at home, I saute the row, she loves it. And then we have and more here. I think here. the grey sole is number two after the channel sole, don't right, you? Right, right. What do we have here now? Well, we have a type of flounder, which actually is a yellow tail. You know, you can see and it. And there is a little yellow. yellow. Yes. And this here, you know, I used to fish for those. Those are the fluke. And uh, you can see here uh, the meat. You just have a little bit of meat in the center, almost no meat on top of that. Tell you, frankly, there is over 100 different types of flat fish in the sole family, dab, flounder, petrolis, mm -hmm. so Dover, and so forth. But today, we want to take this one. So we have the white and the dark side, right? Personally, I leave the white skin. I remove both. Oh. See, when you crush it here, when you cut it here, and you start scraping, you want to take the skin out of it? Yeah. You go ahead. I'll hold it for you here. But you can't do this with any other fish. That, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, this comes out very easily, yes? Which doesn't on another sole. I mean, don't, if you try that with uh, a great sole and all that, you're going to have problems. Here, there is the row. Cut the head this way. For me here, the meat start right here, you know? Mm. So I cut with my scissor right here, but you like that part, I right? I like everything, because it's so expensive. There may be a little delicious fish there. Do you leave the row, or do you remove the row, too? Oh, I'll take the row out. All right, so we can rub it this way, which That's puts... very nice, isn't it? Push the, the row out. And then, of course, what we have but to on do the other here, side. I leave the white skin on. I just scale it. See, mm -hmm. it scaled pretty well. well. I would take it off. But you want you want it off? Yeah. OK, so we take it off on that one. That's wonderful, isn't it? Right. I have two more here. Mm -hmm. And you, you can see the difference. I have the white skin left on, which I scaled, mm -hmm. of course, and it's narrower because I have cut that strip here mm -hmm. and yeah. that strip here, which is also bone. So this is basically bone out. Mm -hmm. What would we say for fish stock? All fish of Fish stock, yeah, basically all of that. You know, and the, the skin head. too. The skin too, the flat fish does very good stuff. So it makes yeah. a wonderful stock. Yeah. As you could make the stuff, and all you need to do is just put it in a pot and simmer it with lightly salted water. OK, so we're going to sauté that in a large skillet, and I think we're going to use that non-stick skillet. It's a bit easier, right? I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there, a piece of butter. That should be hot enough, yes. Now, this is going to be meunier, so you're going to dredge it lightly in flour. A meunier, so you want to put it in flour, put a bit mm -hmm. of salt on top. Let's do, are we doing two? Yeah. We're doing you. And mine right there. Meunier means the miller's wife. The miller is called the... The Meunier, yes. The Meunier. So this is Meunier. And his wife is the La mm -hmm. Meunier. Exactly. OK, so we put it this one here. And this one the other way. And it is going to take about three minutes on each side. Now, let's see now. Nicely brown on one side. Brown it on the other side. And those are the firmest of the sole. About the only sole you could put on a grill and turn with a fork, like a stick. Now, how do we tell when it's done? Well, when you open it in the center here and you see that it separates from the bone, you know that basically it is ready. That's very important to know because you right. don't want to overcook it. And some people say, Cook it until the fish flakes. You've overcooked it in that sense, right. haven't you? Sometimes you may cover it also, you know, to give it a little bit of steam. Mm -hmm. But it changes taste a little bit. I like it done a bit longer this way. Yes. So we'll leave it for another minute. 
I think they are ready. You can serve it, of course, with the bone on, as Julia likes it this way. Otherwise, you can bone it out. And what you do, this one is the one with the skin on, as you can see. And you can either separate it this way or run your knife right there. This is that wonderful flat bone. Yeah, in the center of it. And I've cut it in the center. So what happens is that usually the maitre d' does that in front of you. So you can remove one of those fillets, as you can see here. Beautiful white meat, you know. And the it's other fillet definitely like this. done because it comes easily off the bone, but it's the, still the, juicy. The second one, yeah. you know, we lift up you very nicely. Add, add that to your fish stock. Add that to your fish stock. Here you are. And then we put this back on top of it. There, so I could either do that in the dining room in front of the customer, or you can do that on your table, rearrange that on your plate, and at that point you have your four individual fillets of sole all bone out. It's a nice way of doing it. And now you're going to make the black butter sauce. Yeah, we do black butter. So, Julia, you want to put some capers on top of that? Do okay, you are you going to put them in the pan? We should. We Put them, you can put them in the pan. Well, I'd rather put them in the pan. Okay, right? I'll do a little bit of parsley. We have some lemon juice too. Mm -hmm. For the parsley. There, yeah, you can see the butter is changing color there. And you want it a beurre, what we call a beurre noisette. That is hazelnut color. You want You're to give me put some, some capers? Of these capers in there, right in there. Yeah. Well, so I think they're nice. Thank okay. You. And you want to put some of the lemon juice directly mm -hmm. in there also. Oh, that's Good. And delicious. put your parsley first. Mm -hmm. So when you put that on top of it, mm, it's it kind of cook, so it, cook it a little bit. It cook your parsley by putting the hot butter and lemon mixture. And now and there you are. That's it. And now you just eat it.